if you guys didn't realize meat is canceled, it's gone. Joe Biden is taking the meat. What is it? Hardee's Arby's. They got the meat. They ain't got no meat no more. Joseph R. Biden Jr. is taking the meat. Meat has been canceled. It's now in the bin with, um, um, what is it? Popcorn, um, rice, maple syrup, gone. Um, Mr. Potato Head, gone. Um, Dr. Seuss, gone. It's all gone. Meat has been canceled and there's nothing that we can do about it. Joe Biden is stealing conservatives meat. He's taking the meat. He's cucked them. He's meat cucked them. I mean, just, just look at what's going on guys. Take a look. This is Marjorie Taylor green. This is, um, this is Joe Biden at the no hamburger meeting. N the hamburglar, no burgers for thee, but just for me, Joe Biden, the hamburglar stealing your burgers. As you can see here is, is him after he has stolen all of the burgers. He is sitting here with his um good friend, uh, double masked up fork and um fork and knife with his teacup with his single burger, you know, as as people do a as it happens. Yes. The burglar Biden burglar Biden. Joe Biden's climate plan includes cutting 90 percent of red meat from our diets by 2030. They want to limit us. Um, to four pounds of meat a year. Why does Joe, uh, why doesn't Joe stay out of my kitchen? Lord, Lauren Bober woke up and Joe Biden was literally stealing meat out of her cupboard because you know, he, he's the, he's the, he's the meat queen. All right. He needs all the meat. He needs it. Larry Kudlow. He's here. Speaking of stupid, there's a study coming out of the university of Michigan, which says that to meet the Biden green new deal targets, America has to get this. America has to stop. What the fuck? What just happened? Anyways, you know, Larry Kudlow's gone. You know, we all we all know what he was going to say. We have to stop eating meat, um, apparently. So Biden says we can we can only have four pounds of red meat a year. My res my official response today: Give myself co corroded arteries. That is way too much meat. Listen, I love me a good steak. Okay, I in my family we were raised on like seafood and steak, the surf and turf it's really good listen that's too much meat that's far too much meat nobody should be eating that much red meat i don't even know if i can physically do that that's too i can't listen all right i'm no size queen and that's a lot of meat even donald trump jr hopped in fox news again 90 percent of red meat is cut from our diet only four pounds of meat a year one burger a month they're taking our schmeat boys they're taking our meat. Donald Trump Jr. I'm pretty sure I ate four pounds of meat yesterday. Um, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a, a hard no from me, Greg Abbott. Not gonna happen in Texas. Texas is standing up to the mob. Texas is not gonna let Biden take their meat. Not not today. Not nevers. And the and and um the gang of goons, Fox and Friends, even had to chime in on this. To cut our red meat. He wants to cut out. 90% of the red meat that you all eat, that's four pounds a year. And he wants to switch to electric cars. That's expensive. Within electric 10 cars, years. about $50,000. And install all new electric heat pumps to heat our houses. That's going to cost you about $5,700. I mean, you have a lot of mouths to feed, Rachel. Pete, I know you. You yeah. love to roll up your sleeves, show off those <laughs> tattoos, drink a cold beer, and eat your hamburger from Del Frisco's. You know it. Yeah, you know, Ainsley. Does that I, guy have a We the People tattoo? Damn, I'm sorry, dude. Those We the People tattoos are cringe as fuck. Yeah, he did. Ooh, those We the People tattoos are ugly. They're always ugly. I don't get it. They're gonna make us eat bugs. No, it's gonna be the bug burger. Joe Biden is going to sneak into your house and force feed you the bug burger while whispering sweet nothings into your ear. No. Yeah, you know, Ainsley, I live in Wisconsin, as everyone knows, and we have a lot of cows. And what we do with cows is we milk them and we eat them. And I holy shit, we milk them and we eat them. This is going to be a loss of jobs, and it's going to be an increase in prices and cost of living for the middle class and the poor. It is always the elites going after things that they like that end up so yes. Cut our so as you can see, the elites now, um, the bankers, the um, the cabal, the cabal is not only going for um, uh, your your son's penis, 
taking your penis. Mommy, mommy, give me your pee pee. Boom. The uh, the elites are not only trying to force feminize um, your husband and trying to uh, steal your your baby's penis by um uh, by forcefully transitioning them. Um, but but now the elites are even trying to steal your burgers. When will the crimes against humanity end? Well, we'll have to let you know they never even started. The cow milkers are not being threatened. The, the hamburgers are not being taken away. This is not real. I did not know that this existed. The, the Republicans literally invented their own crimes. They're, their own, they're, they're living in their own reality somewhere off in the distance where now Joe Biden is just stealing your burgers. I didn't even know this was a thing until earlier today. But yes, Joe Biden is apparently trying to steal your burgers. And by yes, I actually mean no. That's not happening. He's not trying to get you to steal your burgers. He's not trying to steal your burgers. What actually happened? Let's talk about the facts of the matter, okay? Uh, the paper that it is in question by scholars of the University of Michigan estimates how greenhouse gas emissions would be affected if... Americans hypothetically decided to change their diets in various ways, such as cutting consumption of beef to four pounds a year. The paper does not suggest a mandatory four pound beef limit. And more importantly, the uh, purpose of the uh, paper is not related to Biden's plan. And the paper was published before Biden even won the presidential nomination. So they're making a big like fuss out of this. Not only that it doesn't have zero connection to Joe Biden, it has it was even published before he even won the nomination. Nobody even knew if he was going to win yet. But I, maybe these people would guess that they, they, all, they already knew he was going to win because they were rigging the election or something. It's just so stupid. And this is just this whole thing that has just existed on the right. Because this is, I'm so curious now. How many like right wing lore stories have we lost to the sands of time because they invented their own like conspiracy? They invented their own cancellation. Um, and we just didn't even hear about it. How many? How many have gone on? Did, did did Joe Biden cancel running shoes? Did Joe Biden cancel cameras? Did Joe Biden cancel tires and cars? Did Joe Biden cancel dogs? Who knows? I have no clue. Maybe Republicans do. Go ask them sometime because their their whirlwind, their drowning machine of of lies and deceit, on, honestly, no, no end. And so the, the rabbit hole of lies that they've made for themselves, the echo chamber is so airtight that not even normal human beings know the shit that they're talking about. This is basically this is basically the like pull thread levels of of, of conspiracy theory that exists out in the ether. This is like the great replacement. This shit is like the great reset. But you only know about this if, if uh, you're on like uh, uh, on like polar like black pigeon speaks youtube channel or maybe even um um what is it like um uh uh like um carl gone you know you didn't hear about any of this until some like internet weirdos brought it up after they're made up uh fr from their site some uh, like random post are made up w right next to um a, a rare pepe you know what i'm saying it all started with the daily mail the saga began on thursday it happened to start a thursday thursday it's been going on since th since last week. Saga began on Thursday when Biden pledged at a virtual climate summit that the U.S. will cut greenhouse gas emissions by 50 to 52 percent uh, compared to 2005 levels by 2030. Biden and the White House briefly outlined the variety of measures that would help. From improving vehicle efficiency to uh, rethrottling buildings to farmers deploying cutting edge tools to make American soil uh, the next frontier of carbon innovation. But nothing had anything to do with taking your Big Mac from you. All right. You if you want to get the, the, the double triple pounder, not even the quarter pounder. OK, it's the double pounder. It's eight pieces of meat and you want to shove eight pieces of meat directly in like unhinge your jaw and shove eight pieces of quarter pounder meat directly into your throat. Um, you can do it, okay? And then you can drink, you can get a straw and you can drink out of the grease trap. And Joe Biden isn't trying to take that from you, all right? As much as you want to believe that he will, he is not. It is just insane to me that these people have just started to make up their own. I already knew that they were starting to make up their own their own lies when it came to like the Dr. Seuss and the Mr. Potato Head and the 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 rice and the maple syrup. Um, oh yeah, and the butter. Can't forget about the butter. Um, now this with no connection to anything, anything 
Nobody even knew this was happening. They've now tied it back to their grand narrative of being of everything being canceled and Joe Biden stealing um and 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 Joe Biden stealing your um um bacon bacon whopper burger or something. Thankfully, some of them realize that um they're stupid, just a little bit stupid, or at the very least, maybe they were going to get sued or something. Um, or the FCC came down and say, "Hey, listen, lying to people actually isn't cool." When this isn't Donald Trump anymore, and uh, Fox News had to actually uh, release an apology. On on Friday, we told you about a study from the University of Michigan to give some perspective on President Biden's ambitious climate change goals. That research from 2020 found that cutting back how much red meat people eat would have a drastic impact on harmful greenhouse gas emissions. The data was accurate, but a graphic and a script incorrectly implied that it was part of Biden's plan for dealing with climate change. That is not the case. Once Thank you. Thank you. But it's okay. The damage has already been done. As you can see, literally every re a Republican congressperson has now run with the idea that Joe Biden is now stealing um, meat, meat popsicles from babies. He's he's slapping the meat tubes out of um, young children's hands. No more Slim Jims. No more um, uh, 72 ounce steaks. OK, um, no, no more bacon wrapped bacon burger, extra bacon with bacon on the side and bacon fries with candied bacon as the dessert okay no more it's already done the damage has already been done they've lied enough to to the point where it's become the co the conservative zeitgeist and now they believe that joe biden is hoarding all the fucking meat like the fucking crusty crabs um uh crabby patty vault all right and there's nothing that you can do about it it's over now run for the hills hide your meat boys biden's coming for it no, it's true. Biden and I are Twitter mutuals and he DM me saying he was going to outlaw all meat and turn us all into vegan leftists. No, he's going to be making it. No, first this, then he's going to be making us eat the uh, uh, eat the cricket patties. No, it's already coming, boys. Welcome to cyberpunk. Welcome to Biden punk. Malarkey punk. Are you guys ready for malarkey punk where there's nothing that you can do about it, but um, eat your bug burger and um, never see another black person on um, on your um, uh, on your maple syrup ever again? Oh, my gosh. What is this world coming to? We're all going to be vegan gains. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, forced feminized. Vegan pussy. Yikes. <laughs> Wait a second. I didn't even read this. The, be, the, the no one seeing through Lauren Bober's lies. You'll have to get used to serving vegan source diarrhea sliders at your crappy gun fetish restaurant. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Food poisoning from dirty grill. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. Lauren Bur uh, Lauren, uh, Lauren Bur uh, Bober's restaurant is giving people freaking food poisoning because she doesn't wash her grills, and she also gives um minors guns. She has just you know how um w when you're working in like fast food or something, your manager will keep like spare hats in the um in the manager's office or something. Here instead of that, she just keeps spare guns. And when like little sixteen year old baby girls start working for her. Um, she's like, okay, girl, here's a gun. And they just give her a gun. And, um, and then they, they feed diarrhea sliders to people, <laughs> um, as, as a normal human being does, I guess.